yo, yo, this makes no sense. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to build a custom frame for a random canvas painting. As you can see behind me, we've got a canvas painting on our wall. It doesn't have a frame on it because it's an odd measurement, and so standard frames just won't fit on it. Instead of going and having it professionally framed for a lot of money, what we're going to do is use pine molding to build a frame ourselves. So let's get started. So at the store we purchased two types of molding. One was this corner piece, it's about one inch by one inch and it's jointed pine. The other type of molding is what's called ply cap or poly cap, P-L-Y cap. Not sure what it's actually for, but it's going to be great because we'll be able to use the one inch side of the molding to butt against the one inch side of the corner piece and that'll create our frame for us. What I also purchased is quick dry glue, 10 minute wood glue, which is going to make it much easier for us to assemble this project. So what you want to do is take your quick dry glue and you want to run a very light band all the way down one edge of your corner piece. Just a little bit, don't need that much. And then what we're going to do is take our fat end of the PLY cap, poly cap, ply cap, whatever it is, and we're going to attach it to the side. Now because the um, this piece is it quite one inch, we have to bring it up to make it the same height, and that's where our clamps are very important. So starting from the end, we're going to take these clamps that we have, and we're going to bring this piece up to the same height and clamp. So it just involves a little bit of fine tuning. And so we're strong enough, we'll get that first go. We're going to bring this up, make sure that our clamp pieces are angled the way that we want them to. I've just made it before and it didn't work well. And there we go. And then it's just a little bit of finesse to get it up to the point where you want it. We're going to take our other clamp, do the same thing on this end, get it how we want it. angles the right way and if you have a little glue that comes out the seam it's not a big deal this type of glue you can sand off once it's dry and it dries pretty clear as well so just make sure if you're painting that um, you sand it off before you paint or else it's going to look pretty when I had the board sitting on the saw I had them flat like this so that I would have the saw blade come down and do a clean cut but then when I got them in and did a test based on how they would be raised against the canvas, you see, you already see what's happening. So hopefully I left myself enough wiggle room that I'll be able to go back out and cut them flat. So instead of having them lie like this, I will have them cut like this. And so I'll either have to put something underneath to hold it straight or I'll just have to hold it pretty steady so that uh, I can get my blade down and cut that way. So hopefully things will be okay. All of our pieces have been cut now, and so now is the true test. We're going to line them all up together with the canvas, make sure everything fits. So we can just set the canvas inside. Set this inside. My end is like an inch off. One of my pieces is short. Which one? This one. So because we did not do the proper 45s initially, our frame doesn't fit <laughs> our canvas. So what I've done is just taken the canvas off of the frame, trimmed it down a little bit, and then now I'm re-stretching uh, the canvas. So in case you ever wanted to know how to stretch a canvas, this is how you do it. 
So I've attached one side, uh, just kind of loose. Now what we're doing is just like a Christmas present or any present, you're gonna take the sides and this is where you're gonna start stretching. So the most important thing is to stretch up and around so you get a good stretch. So to assemble your frame with basic tools that you have around the house, uh, what you can do is just use um, a manual stapler and flip your frame over and line up all of your edges. And what I found was helpful is just putting a um, butcher block underneath here just because it kind of helps with the lip and it makes it square. Because we're trying to use tools that you'll have around the, the house, uh, what we're doing, instead of using a kind of a specialty bracket as the framer would do, we're just gonna screw the back piece into the canvas stretch uh, frame. And we're gonna do that using five by one screws. And so they're pretty small wood screws. The reason why you wanna have the smallest screw possible is that this piece here will split. It's very, very delicate pine, and if you get a huge screw into there, you're gonna split that piece and you're gonna be really unhappy with it. To hang the wire, we're gonna use the same basic tools that uh, we were using the whole time. Make sure that you know which way is up, that's very important. So this way is uh, the top of the painting. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this part of the frame. So it's about 21 inches. So the standard rule of thumb is that you put your wire a third of the way down. So that's gonna be seven inches for us. Seven inches. And that's where we're gonna put two more sets of screws. Now you can use, um, you can buy these packs that have these little tiny like pieces like this. Uh, I figure we're just gonna use the same tools that we've been working with. So we're going to screw two more screws in here and we're gonna leave them raised a little bit. That's what's gonna hold the wire. Okay, we're back in. So I do have a little bit of wire left over from another project. I just bought it at um, a local craft store. So what we're going to do is, oh, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave about, um, you know, that much, five inches, and we're going to twist around our wire and we're going to just hold it like that and we're going to screw the wire down. So the wire is going to be kind of tight with the screw. Then what we're going to do is take the little dangly piece and we're going to twist it around the piece that is exposed. Just twist it around. This ensures that when the wire stretches, this actually catches it, believe it or not. All right, so same thing on this side. A mess of wires. We've got a nice taut wire on the back, and that should be good to hold. Pick it up. Double checking. We do have the top right. I made that mistake far too many times. And then we're good to hang. Yo, yo, this makes no sense. But it's like it's so bad with